how many protests will this badge have to do for the children? Welcome is Advocate Television, Crimes Against Children. We're here today for the Warrior Brothers. We can't wait anymore, kids are dying. First thing we need to do is raise awareness. And we're here to expose the corruption in the county. I'm Susan Schofield reporting live from Yolo County Courthouse in Woodland with a father and his two sons. Due process rights are being violated. Due process rights are your given rights through the Constitution. The Constitution is the Bill of Rights. Veterans have given their lives to fight for our rights under the Constitution. Usually I'm here to support the women and children. A third generation stolen child. They took my grandmother and she was forced into boarding schools on um, that generation. And then my mother's generation was put into foster, foster home, taken from her mom. And I was taken uh, from my mother in the 70s. They have a 60s and 70s group that they used against our Indian people. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm one of those survivors. We need policy and legislation. They're not for the children. I think that uh, we need to stand together, unite, start pulling these women out that are suffering alone. My name is Dan Royer. Uh, I'm here because of my boys, uh, Marcus and Nicholas Royer. Um, they, they're caught in a system that uh, is very corrupt. Uh, I worry about my boys. They're, they're good kids and the voices aren't being heard. We're going to go down to the CPS. My name is Corey Cabana. A citizen cannot operate or exist in a, in a government, in a society, when due process rights are not offered and abided by, by the very government that we are in an agreement with. That, that's what So I completed everything in my case plan different. I want my children. Now we have foster parents that are changing their stories. And that's the only reason why they're keeping my daughter from me. I'm only allowed to see my son that's one years old for one hour. CPS is all around the world and they're stealing our children. I'm here because I have a child who is under 11 years old and they like to adopt children out under 12. The judge may ask. Um, McGuire, Daniel P. McGuire. She is adoptable without her permission and they can terminate my parental rights without her decision and, or say so. Uh, what do we need to do to hold them accountable? Um, there's a lot of things, you have right? To put, you have to put in your complaints. You have to put in your complaints um, to, bar, to, to the bar, to the commission. I'm talking to Rosa Linda. Hi, what are you doing here today? Can you tell me a little bit about your story? Um, I'm here with the protest rally in Yolo County. We started at the courthouse. My case started in 2019 based off the of false allegations. Um, my teenager said that I had hit her. Because uh, got, she got her phone taken away and she got grounded. The next day, CPS took all of the kids from school. So I felt like they were so corrupt and crooked. Like, right away, I should have fought it, went to trial, contested, cross-examined the social worker. Like, I found all this out later. She did not advise me of any of my rights. And then I recently had a baby in November, and they took the baby from the hospital, all based on the first allegations. I had the baby in Las Vegas, Nevada. They came with the California warrant oh that wasn't stamped. It was docu-signed. I know there's a lot of change that needs to be made, a lot of awareness that's not happening. Now I know the truth, that they twist so much stuff, they're falsifying reports. It's happening all over the country. Advocate Television reporting live here at CPS. Child abuse, oh my goodness. What they have done to my inner children, it's, it's criminal. Well, it's been a year in this in a process, and it started out for the health and safety of the children. If a kid is in a 14 years of age or older, that they have to be asked whether they can be part of the proceedings. Allegations is, is how the family court works and entertains. That's how they make their money. Yeah. Huh? False allegations of abuse is abuse. They disbarred your attorney. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard of attorneys getting killed for standing up. You know, we need strong men to speak up for women who are abused. We need strong men to speak up for abused children. And I'm very happy I'm here with Tramel and Dan because this is what we're here for. A lot of victims out there. A lot of victims. All over America, there's victims. People need to stick up for children, their children and other people's children. 
Yeah, the media, they're playing devil's advocate. And that's why I'm here.